Hello and welcome to NetApp KB TV. This video is based on KB article number 28775. This video demonstrates how to collect rolling packet trace files from cluster data on tab 8.3.2. The PKTT command controls a simple on-node packet tracing facility. Packets can be captured into a trace buffer then dumped to a file or the captured data can be logged to a file. The data is stored in TCP dump format and can be directly viewed with TCP dump ethereal and perhaps other viewers. The output can also be converted using the edit cap program to a variety of other formats including sniffer, netmon and snoop. It is helpful to have PKTT available because it can capture traffic from switch networks and from all the supported node network media types. Rolling packet traces are often requested to troubleshoot intermittent issues. A new flag, iPhone R, has been introduced to the PKTT command to roll trace files in cluster data on tab 8.3.2. To begin the procedure, log into the cluster data on tab 8.3.2 storage system. It is recommended to create a volume dedicated to tracing to avoid causing issues on the node's root volume and the command is displayed on the screen. Now let us run the packet trace command on the interface E1A and the command is as displayed on the screen. The option iPhone D specifies the path to an existing directory in which the trace data files will be written and the option iPhone M. This sets the length at which packets will be truncated. The default is 1514 bytes which is fine for Ethernet but may be too short for Gigabit Ethernet with Jumbo frames. And the option iPhone B. This sets the buffer size which may be specified as a number with an optional trialing K or M multiplier. The default is 128K and the option iPhone R. This flag has been introduced to the PKTT command to roll trace files in cluster data on tab 8.3.2 and this flag allows users to specify the maximum number of traces they wish to collect. Now to check the packet trace file, execute the command as displayed on the screen. And finally to stop the trace, issue the command as displayed on the screen. We hope you find this video helpful. Please subscribe to NetApp KB TV for more knowledge based videos. Thank you for watching.